You're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. This is Anne, and we are in studio today with the Chris Heisey Band of Milwaukee. Welcome. Hello. Howdy. Hello. They are in town for the Mile of Music, playing their first Mile of Music, and um, actually, you know, the first summer that we've seen you guys in our area as the Chris Heisey Band. Um, but you've been around for a while. For our listeners, give us a little background. Um, yeah, we uh, played um, a March 4th, 2017 album release at Linneman's. That was the first show we did. I made a record called Your Ugly Friends. <clears throat> Had met Mark and played, opened for their band a couple times, and Mark offered to, um, you know, try to help put the record together. And uh, I had some people in mind to play, but when that kind of fell apart, as my schemes tend to, uh, Mark was like, hey, I'm in another band and literally know a drummer and like another guitar player that can play with you. So we played that show and it went really well. We filled it up. Right? There was like 102 people there at Linneman's that night. That was a lot of fun. Um, so we kept it going uh, and I had known Tony for years. We used to work together um, and I knew he played the cello, um, you know, competently. He was in sym- youth symphony orchestras as a kid, right? So. Um, I never had anything really to do, but then we had this band, and I was like, oh, you know what, I'm going to call Tony. So we played Locust Street Festival that summer, so that's like June, right? So like three months later, and uh, that's where we had Tony, and uh, then we started making our first record, Suburban View, which uh, we released at Anodyne Coffee in June I don't know the year now. I was anyway, say, you're very specific. I'm I mean, very eight. specific. I almost <laughs> have them all. Um, like 18 months ago, I would have had it really catalog- cataloged. There's a large gap in my year calculations that I keep forgetting about. Um, so I'm like, um, oh, you remember last year? And they're like, that was like three years ago now. It's like, wait, I can't. They're gonna they're gonna name that. They're gonna have an official syndrome yeah. name for that There's because like a, everyone's experiencing. The time escaped. It's not even like you lost it. It's like it's a totally different feeling. Yeah, but so we so we made our first our first record together, Suburban View. We make it uh, with Mark's knowledge and equipment and studio space, uh, and released that one. Kept playing. Now we have a our newest record, uh, Half of All of Nothing, which uh, just came out July 16. So, uh, how's your mile of music? Uh, experience going so far? So far we've just been at D2. Um, We were at D2 on Tuesday and then we were there yesterday and that's a blast. What a great venue. The uh, sound outside was great. The crowd show up in great force. Like the angle of the stage to maximize the amount of people. It's just a really nice outdoor setup. It was hot. Nothing you can do about that. They missed the audience but they for some reason they don't miss the expensive electronics on stage. <laughs> uh, so cool that you guys could get in on on Mile of Music. I suspect you'll be back uh, lots. And you've played, you played Gibson, is that right, before you? Yeah, we were in a, another band called Paladino that we played Gibson as. Uh, and that was kind of Mark and Chad's and Weston's project, too, uh, in a way. So um, that was the band where I met these guys, and I was opening for them, like, solo. And, uh, and then um, they needed a piano player at some point and um, they called like 20, 25 people before they turned and asked me to do it. <laughs> he was he was he was lucky twenty six. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> but to make up for it, they let you name the band after you. Uh, that that's that's sense? a good story. Mm. Jim Lineman asked us to play Locust Street Fest. Uh, inside, um, we were the lat. We filled out the bill that year. He needed the first slot, right, like the twelve o'clock slot indoors. Um, and he was like, "Hey, what should your band name be? Um, I have to get the list submitted so they can like print the posters and stuff like in like an hour." And I said, uh, "We don't really have a name." And Jim was like, "All right, how does Chris Heisey band band sound?" Uh, and we were like, okay, that'll work for now until we come up with something else. So it's the placeholder. It was name. a placeholder that uh, never got got reused. I used to say in, in banter when we were like talking on stage, like, we're Chris Heisey band. That is literally the best we could think of for a name. 
<laughs> oh, but we've been trying ever since. We have so Every, many funny band names, yeah. but it's so hard yeah. to commit to something like that. Yeah, before uh, before every practice, you know, we just send out like a little text reminder, and uh, Mark will come up with like a different band, hilarious band name or something. And some of them are awesome. Some of them are just horribly off color. <laughs> <laughs> Many inappropriate for right, right. For radio. But always hilarious nonetheless. So well, as demonstrated in this particular interview, um, not only. The Chris Heisey band, fun to listen to on stage, but the banter is good, and I, I don't know, I like good stage banter, so uh, you should get out and try to see them when you get the chance. I suspect they will be back up in our neck of the woods often. Hope to convince you guys to come back soon and do something for us. Yeah, yeah. that's the Chris Heisey band. They're out of Milwaukee. Check out their music, available anywhere, and uh, especially their new album, We're digging it here at The Avenue. This is 91.1 The Avenue. You're listening to The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage.